The Appalachian Trail runs 2,180 miles from Georgia to Maine. And every year, people hike it all, but few do it with braces on their legs. 27 First News anchor Stan Boney this morning has the story of one woman who's trying just that. This past Tuesday evening, Stacy Kozel was back at Austin Town's Western Reserve Orthotics and Prosthetics getting her computerized braces worked on and refitted. She is pushing them to the edge and beyond. Stacy Kozel is 41. She's from Medina and now lives in Madison, and she's in the process of hiking the entire Appalachian Trail. I think just being trapped in my wheelchair and always uh, for over two years looking out the window and wanting to be outdoors. Um, made me think more about getting back outside. That was just one of my goals. So I'm going to step with this foot. Step with that right foot. Good. This past December 21st, we were there when Stacy Kozel took her first steps with her new Sea Braces by Autobach. Paralyzed by lupus in a car accident, she'd been wearing metal braces, which made her walk stiff legged. But she convinced her insurance company to spend the $91,000 to buy the braces with the high-tech computer packs that help keep her legs moving. Three months later, on March 24th, she started on the Appalachian Trail. It's been a, a challenge. I, I don't, um, I've actually had to get on my butt and scoot in some spots where other people might just use their legs. Stacy has made it into North Carolina about 170 miles and is doing about 10 miles a day. The braces force her to stop more often than she'd like. I do have to charge these, so I do have to come off the trail to plug them in. Um, I try to stay on a trail in my tent as much as possible. Feels good to be standing, looking people in the eyes again. With the braces rebuilt, Stacy Kozel did a few laps around the room. Everything worked. The day after the interview, she headed back to where she left off on the Appalachian Trail. She knows there are tough sections ahead and realizes she may need some help, but she does have something to prove. I want to show insurance companies that it's worth it. I want to show them the benefits of um, approving these, and even for them, I think it'll be less costly in the end. Stan Boning, WKBN 27 First News.